Music be the food of love, play on. Let's train again. It had a dying fall. Will you go hunt, my lord? What, Curio? The heart. When I saw Olivia first, me thought she purged the air of pestilence. In that instant was I turned into a heart, and my desires like fell and cruel hounds ere since pursued me. Orsino. Orsino. I have heard my father name him. He was a bachelor then. And so is now, or was so very late, that he did seek the fair Olivia. What's she? A virtuous maid, the daughter of a count, they say, because she will admit no kind of suit. No, not the Duke's. I shall serve this Duke. Therefore, good youth, address thy gate unto her. Be not denied access. Stand at her doors till thou have audience. Sure, my noble lord. As it is spoke, she never will admit me. Be clamorous! Leap all civil bounds rather than make unprofited return. Say I do speak with her, my lord. What then? Oh, then unfolds the passion of my love. Surprise her with discourse of my dear faith. I'll do my best to woo your lady. A barful strife. Honorable lady of the house, speak to me. I shall answer for her. Your will? I would be loath to cast away my speech, for besides that it is excellently well penned, I have taken great pains to con it. Where lies your text? In Orsino's bosom. Ugh. In his bosom? In what chapter of his bosom? To answer by the method in the first of his heart. Oh, I have read it. It is heresy. Have you no more to say? My lord and master loves you. Get you to your lord. I cannot love him. Let him send no more. Unless, perchance, you come to me again to tell me how he takes it. Fare you well. Love makes his heart a flint. But you shall love and let your fervor, like my master's, be placed in contempt. Farewell, fair cruelty. My life upon it, young though thou art, thine eye hath stayed upon some woman that it loves. Hath it not? A little. By your favor. What kind of woman is't? Of your perfection. Madam. I come to wet your gentle thoughts on his behalf. I bade you never speak of him again. Dear lady, stay. I, I prithee, tell me what you thinkest of me. That you do think you are not what you are. If I think so, I think the same of you. And think you right. I am not what I am. I would you were as I would have you be. Would it be better, madame, than I am? I wish it might, for now I am your fool. Oh, what a deal of scorn looks beautiful in the contempt and anger of his lip. Cesario, by the roses of the spring, by maidhood, honor, truth, and everything, I love thee. By innocence, I swear, and by my youth, I have one heart, one bosom, and one truth. And that no woman has, nor never none shall mistress be of it, save I alone. And so adieu, good madame. Nevermore will I my master's tears to you deplore.
Here comes the Countess. Now heaven walks on earth. Gracious Olivia. It is as fat and fulsome to mine ear as howling after music. Still so cruel. Still so constant, Lord. What? To perverseness? My soul, the faithfulest offering, hath breathed out the ever devotion tender. What shall I do? Even what it please, my lord, that shall become him. Come, boy, with me. My thoughts are right with mischief. I'll sacrifice the lamb that I do love to spite a raven's heart with a dove. And I, most chuckens, apt and willingly, to do you rest. A thousand guts would die. Where goes Cesario? After him I love. More than I love these eyes, more than my life. Cesario, husband, stay. Husband? Husband? No, my lord, not I. Farewell, and take her. Henceforth, direct thy feet where thou and I shall never. My lord, I do protest. Oh, do not swear. Hold little faith, though thou hast too much fear. If nothing lets to make us happy both, but this my masculine usurp the fire. Do not embrace me till each circumstance of place, time, fortune, do go here and jump that I am Viola.